This video covers the basics of using Venga. We'll take a look at signing in, the Venga console and what makes it up, basic paging, and sending instant messages. We've got two computer screens side by side here, an old Windows XP machine on the left and a Windows 7 on the right. We're going to launch Venga on each computer. Noticed after we start it, the first thing we get is a sign in screen. On this computer, we're going to be Dr. Mike in Op 1, and on this one, we'll be Jan in Op 2. We could have selected any combination of user and room from those lists. It's important to note that Venga remembers your last login and defaults that for you. Once we've signed in, we have the Venga console displayed. That is this screen here. And it's really the main Venga window that you're going to work with. It's sizable and completely customizable. Uh, we can size it by grabbing the gripper in the lower right hand corner and you'll see the, the buttons and everything inside resizes. Here we have a two column display. On the left here, we have a single strip display. Uh, you can really configure it however you like. There's no limitation on the number of buttons uh, that Venga has other than your screen real estate. The first thing we'll take a look at is the Venga title menu. It's up in the upper left hand corner and it really serves as Venga's main menu. There are dozens of options within. The next thing we'll take a look at is the colored buttons toward the top of the screen. These represent staff members that you'll want to page. Toward the bottom of the screen are the uncolored buttons, and these represent rooms or areas that you would want to page someone to go to. In the middle here, we have message icons. These allow you to give a little bit more information about the reason that you're paging someone. There are really two different ways of communicating within Venga. The first is paging, and the second is instant messaging. We'll take a look at paging first. The idea with paging is we want to page someone to go somewhere. So for instance, if I wanted Dr. Carroll to go to Op 2, I would click on Dr. Carroll and then click on Op 2. Carol's color would light Op 2 and she would hear her sound played knowing that she's needed in Op 2. And she can also see how long that page has been active if she looks in the lower right hand corner of the button. To clear a page, you simply click on the face of the page. If the Venga console happens to be minimized or behind other windows when you receive a page, it'll pop to the foreground. Here's an example of that. If you receive a page and a screensaver is active, Venga will even wake up the screensaver to display that page. Next, let's take a look at paging with a message icon. So let's page Dr. Carol, letting her know that a hygiene check is needed in Op 1. That's all there is to it. And again, we click the face of the page to clear it. Now let's say that we needed to page someone at a higher priority, letting them know the page was urgent. So let's say Dr. Mike was needed urgently in Op 4. We would double click on his button and then click on Op 4. His sound is played twice then in rapid succession and his color lights Op 4 and blinks. Venga even allows you to page two people to the same room. If I needed Dr. Mike in Op 4, and Jan, an assistant there as well, the room button splits, showing that both people are needed to go there. To clear each page, you simply click on the color that you want to clear. Finally, let's take a look at sending an instant message within Venga. There are a number of different ways that you can start an instant message, but we're going to do it through the title menu. So we're going to choose send message. You can see that we can send to all stations, 
only those stations that are online, or we can select from a list. We'll choose that. Here we have a list of all of the stations that are currently online in our Venga system. So I'm going to choose to send to Jan in Op2 and select. So Jan receives a message, it pops up, and it's shown in her color, so she knows instantly that that message is for her. She can reply by clicking on the reply arrow, and then typing a message here. With the Venga Instant Messenger, you can send a message to one person, everyone, you can select a group of two, three, four, or more, or you can send to someone's zone. When you've typed your message, you just hit enter to send it. When you're done with a message, you can click the X in the upper right hand corner, which will close the message at your screen, or you can choose the X in the lower left hand corner to close the note at all stations. Being able to close the note at all stations is handy when you send a message to someone and you're not sure where they are, so you send it to many different stations, or you send it to everyone. Once they receive that message, they can click the X in the lower left hand corner and close that message everywhere, and then you know that they've received it. That wraps up the Venga basics. We've got other videos as well. Venga Instant Messaging in depth, Venga Beyond the Basics, the Venga Configuration Guide, and Venga Utilities. Thanks for watching.